One simple thing all you girls can do is just bring 40 to 50 percent of the food in its raw form. That means it's alive. It must be a live cell, it can be a vegetable, it can be a fruit, it can be a nut, it can be sprouted gram. At least 40 to 50 percent, the food that you eat must be alive. You eat dead food and you want to live, it's a little difficult thing to do because you have to raise the dead now. When you cook the food, to digest the food, all the ingredients necessary for digestion are not in the body alone. The food also brings the enzymes. When you cook the food, you are largely destroying these enzymes. Minus the enzymes when you eat, now the body has to struggle to reconstruct that part that has been destroyed and then only it can digest. Normally, first one, one and a half hours after eating, it tends to take the body down. After that, slowly, it recovers. Have you noticed this? So food is for energy, but we are making the food in such a way that uh, it takes away energy in the first one and a half hours. Only after that, slowly, it comes back. Anyway, however good your digestive process is, Still, you can never reconstitu reconstitute all the enzymes that we have destroyed by cooking. Only partly we can do that. If your digestive process is very strong and good, you reconstitute about 40 to 50 percent of what's been destroyed. If it is a little timid kind of digestion, it's much less. So whichever way, if you're eating cooked food, 50 to 60 percent of the food that you're eating is generally going waste, but the body has to still process that. And the amount of energy that it spends and the amount of trauma that it goes through is very big.